which mod should I use to make my progress in pen spinning faster, better and more pleasant. Hello pen spinners, Alex Sukhov is here and by the end of this video you're gonna know which mods I recommend to all the beginners who often ask me to help with such decision. Keep in mind, this top is my personal opinion and I'm not a pen modder as I don't make pen mods by myself, but I've tried a lot of them. I have a pen store after all, right? I've spent a lot of time with many different mods in conversations with the different pen spinners, with the beginners, with experienced guys. And my opinion is not based only on my preferences. Some of the mods below are going to be the ones which I don't really like by myself and uh, spin very rarely. But they are admitted to be one of the best for the beginners. Also, by the end of this video I'm going to suggest you how to combine the mods to make a perfect set which would fulfill all your needs in pen spinning if you feel like you need more mods than one. And without further ado, let's get started with the top of mods for the beginners in pen spinning. And let me begin with one of my favorite mods. I spin it really a lot and this mod I would recommend as a universal tool for a beginner. Ladies and gentlemen, let me present you Flying Panda Mod. This fella is made on Crayola Super Tips and this barrel is considered a golden mean among all the barrels. And the mod itself, by the all means, is one of the most average mods in pen spinning. It is 21.5 cm long, which is not too short, not too long. Its weight is 16.5 grams, which is not too heavy, not too light. It has decent momentum and it is fine to do different types of tricks in any style you want to practice. It looks nice. It has pretty long grips to do wipers. Quality and price are on the best proportion and this is a good cause to choose this pen mod if you are a beginner. So if you don't know where to move right now, which style you would prefer, which kind of mods you would prefer, Flying Panda is the best choice and I strongly recommend it for all the beginners without any doubts. Sure, it has some minuses. Every pen mod does. There is no ideal mod in the world. At least I haven't found it yet. Of course, as your skill would grow, most likely you would change Flying Panda and not many pen spinners leave it as their main pen mod. But this mod is the best way to make your first steps in pen spinning properly. The second one is another universal pen mod and it is less popular than Flying Panda among the beginners, but I wish I had this one as my first pen mod back then when I was a noob. So let me present you Dr. AC or Dr. ACT, whatever. It is a variation of Dr. KT, which you probably have heard of, but on the different barrel and with different caps. It is much heavier than Flying Panda. I would say that it is pretty heavy mod. It is about 20 grams from the old day top. It is the heaviest mod for sure. But people choose to spin heavy mods nowadays rather than light ones. So I don't want to stand against this trend and I would recommend this mod as for the beginners. Because as I said before, this mod is universal and you can practice all kinds of tricks with it. With it. With it. Yeah. I do like how it spins. I do like how it feels. It has great momentum and most time you can feel that it spins by itself. As you can see, the spinning room of Dr. ACT is pretty short. The total length of the mod is 21 cm and the spinning room between two caps is only 8.5 cm, which is really not enough. But as its caps don't have clips or anything which would interfere your sliding among the body, it feels like working space of Dr. ACT is 13 cm. And this is, ladies and gentlemen, pretty much for the mod 
21 cm long. Though this mod has some minuses, as every mod does. And you should be aware of them uh, before you choose to order it. First of all, I need to say that I love grips and tips of Dr. Grip pencil. Dr. ACT uses Dr. Grip tips, as I mentioned before. They are shiny, fancy, heavy and feel nice. But tips of Dr. ACT can make damage to any surface you spin upon. Whether it is your table or the floor, one drop, one damage spot. It is especially bad when this mod lands on your feet or on your cat, for example. It also makes a lot of noise when you drop it. So you'd better spin it on your couch or on the thick carpet. This way you would avoid a lot of troubles. Another thing about Dr. ACT it is a high quality pen mod and it costs pretty much, which is not always good for beginners, especially if they are not certain whether they are going to continue in pin spinning or not. So take these points into consideration. In all other aspects I would strongly recommend this pen mod not only for beginners but for all pen spinners, as it is really decent mod. It is solid, good looking and spins good. The next one is travel mod. This mod is pretty heavy as well. It is 18 gram, 21.5 cm long. As you can see, really big spin room. The main advantage of this pen mod is its price. This one is one of the cheapest mods on the market. You can't make big progress with this. This pen is made askew and rough, spins awkward, but it is a good choice, especially if you are low on budget, if you are not certain whether you are going to stay in pen spinning or not, and uh, if you don't want to spin your ugly self mod or any anything like Frankenstein, Zhigao bullshit. Travel mod has everything you need at the beginning in pen spinning. The fourth mod for today is Ivan mod. or how people used to call it in the past, Buster CYL2. Though, to my mind, it has nothing in common with Buster CYL, especially when Ivan mod is made with the Dr. Grip grips. They are completely two different pen mods, and I think that Ivan mod is better for the beginners if you want to spin heavy mods again. This is the third heavy mods in this top. Out of five, Two of them are heavy. This is modern days, what you gonna do? Ivan mod doesn't need a long introduction. It is well known all over the world. I think every pen spinner which has self-respect has it in his collection. And though I personally prefer VGG mod instead of Ivan in this type of mods, it definitely deserves its popularity. Also, Wicked Gaming mod is not for beginners. Ivan mod is 19 gram, it is 22 cm long and has huge spin room. Spinning space of Ivan mod is 14.5 cm long and this is one of the biggest spin room among all the mods. One of... Ha. <laughs> I think the bigger spin room has only ninja mod, this mod. But it's not for pen spinning, it is only for fooling around. Ivan mod is a good choice, especially if you have big hands, long fingers and the price. Yes, Ivan mod is not expensive, the same as Flying Panda's price. And for heavy mod, I think this is the best price you can find on the bucket. Ivan mod is admitted all over the world and a lot of pen spinners claim it as their favorite one. The fifth. The last but not least, a bit controversial pen mod. My personal recommendation – waterfall on super pirate body. To my mind, it is like an upgraded flying panda mod. I think they really have some vage thing in common. Waterfall is 20.5 cm long, which is 1 cm less than Flying Panda. Its weight is 16 grams, which is 0.5 gram lighter than Flying Panda. And it is 1.5 times more expensive than Flying Panda. And when you hold this one in your hand, 
you can feel the difference in the price. Its design is pretty simple but looks good. It is pretty light but momentum is better. The barrel Super Pirate is pretty thick which is one of the minuses of waterfall. For this reason it probably wouldn't be recommended to the guys with the big palms and long fingers. Otherwise its thickness is the same as Comsa. Comsa probably would be a little bit thinner. Why do I recommend Waterfall for newbies? It's good. With this mod you can learn how to control your pen better. The lighter your pen is, the better you learn to control it. And the control is the keystone to having a good style and flow. At the same time it has really good momentum to make your study easier. Waterfall is a very popular mod and I consider it one of my favorite. And though it's not so good for power tricks, but hey, you don't need them at the beginning. Anyway, about the price, it's not so cheap as Flying Panda, but not so expensive as Dr. ACT. In all other aspects, it is a good choice to begin with. So that was my top recommended pen mods for those of you who are making their first steps in the pen spinning. And as I promised, these are some obvious tips if you are going to continue your moving in art of pen tricks. If you want to fulfill more needs and don't want to pay for the delivery twice. These are mods which I don't recommend to combine in your first order. Flying Panda and Waterfall. As I told before, they have something in common and they present one target. Also, I don't recommend to combine Travel Mod with Ivan or Dr. ACT for the same reason. Actually, you may tell that Travel Mod is a cheap version of Ivan. All other combinations are possible and are ok for you. Well, Dr. ACT and Ivan may be a little bit less than others, but still valid. The best choice if you don't care a lot about the money, but you want to have the best of the best set, would be Waterfall, Dr. ACT and Ivan. These fellas would be enough for you for a long time. If you want to fulfill most of needs with less costs, your choice will be Travel Mod plus Flying Panda. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. And if it was, let me know about that. Share this video with your friends and write down in the comment section below your top 5 best pen mods for newbies. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos about pen spinning and may the style be with you guys. Bye!